All right, I would like to finish this game. <laughs> As you can see, this is all the same day. Uh, so I don't even know if anybody's going to watch this, but I'll do it just in case. Uh, I think a little playpen set here. I used to play in playgrounds like this when I was a kid. They're always neat. The more elaborate, the better. I mean, having one on brick is certainly a choice. I feel like they don't do that anymore for good reason. Kids falling out of like a two-story thing and just bashing their heads in. It's locked and I don't know how to open it. So, locked it shall stay. I assume there's probably something in here, right? Maybe. Maybe, perhaps. But I cannot see because there's no flashlight in this game. I wonder if one of the cheats is the flashlight. That'd be really funny. I love those classic police sirens because the, I think those are French sirens. Uh, and we are very much in America here, so... That's... <laughs> that doesn't really work. What was that? I knew that fucking dog was going to be here. I saw that picture. I remember it. Deal with dogs? Truly, we are Resident Evil right now. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I thought I was safe. Nope, can't do that. Need power. Gotta follow the cord. Which is through here? How do I. Eh? Oh, well, it also leads there. Yeah, I got nothing. Go through, I guess. Uh-oh. Cutscene. All right, okay. Now door, door transition. Okay. I really thought they would put something there. Another triangle door I can't open. Sick. Nice. Fucking cool, dude. Big hole in the middle. That's pretty neat, too. That also seems like a safety hazard around kids. I'll say it. I'm not, like, the most protective of kids. Usually can't give... I usually don't give a shit. Uh, but... <laughs> but... Some of these just seem like very easily avoidable mistakes. I, I don't really care, but I also... I work in customer service, so, like, I... I'm used to things that can easily be prevented and then having people complain about easily preventable things. And being like, see, this is why we told you to prevent the thing. More of the fake news. Oh boy, alright. Editorial. From 81. Last night I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. One operation a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they, or as, as collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until Private Joshua Hartwright caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everything, everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed on him, burying him forever in the earth. I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustice of the war. Most of all, I was horrified. Horrified the person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else to lose everything, to have the veil torn and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How can anyone ask someone uh, else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? Alright, this person sucks. <laughs> what? By Cecil Frank? I mean, like... You either got it or you don't. Like, and what I mean by that is, like, either you're the kind of person to, like, like you know, put your life on the line, or you're not. And that's just kind of how it goes. And so that's the whole, uh, it's the, what the whole song, the impression that I get by the Mighty Mighty Boston is about. Uh, I've never been tested, but I like to think that if I would, or if I was, I would pass. I don't, I don't know if I would do that. I would hope I would, but it's never happened. So, I don't know. I don't think it was about the war specifically with them. I think that might have been different. I think that might have just been about Ska. No power again? Jam solvent. It looks like there are drains if the chemicals run. Oh, I wonder if that's how you get through the, the gooey elevator. Also, that means I've hit a dead end, which is concerning. Because I don't know where else to go. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I'm missing. I really thought that was going to be it. Alright. Unless something spawned here. No. 
Okay. I don't know where you want me to go then, Gabe. Because I've hit a dead end. I don't have the triangle key. As much as you want me to. It's got to be in here, right? Like, it has to be. So you're making... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. At least my instincts were right this time. Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. As Gordon gets it. Sometimes Jan clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by playing this compound. Hold on. What do you mean, sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator? Excuse me? What? Step one, add the following into the mix station, mixing station bottles. One jug Luma Lux film developer. One gallon weed out weed killer. One virtuoso trumpet polish. You say virtuoso? So isn't that copyrighted? Or isn't that an actual product? Um, uh, I turn on, turn on the water using the tap. Uh, press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red, one to two seconds. Green, one to two seconds. Blue, three to four seconds. Green, two, three seconds. I hate that. Final solution uh, will be dispensed below the mixing station. Well, I need those three items first. Luckily, I can now access so many places with that key. I feel like the dog's going to spawn soon. It's going to be when I come out of the store, isn't it? Because they expect to go in here. Bastards. Nothing. Health relax, okay. Oh, this is the uh, a battery. I'm gonna need that. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow, life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was, and I don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something. It saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. Yeah, you're depressed, my guy. I don't know what you like. On the subway, people's elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. Uh, hey, I'm fucking Gordon. I'm fucking walking here. Uh, when I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable. For a few moments, I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. Did fucking Comcast write this? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what? Huh. Yeah, what happened? TV rots your brain until it doesn't? Is that what you guys are telling me? Why did I come in here? Oh, I guess the battery. I'm like, why the fuck was this blocked off? So I believe the battery will go back in this area, and I also believe the dogs will make an appearance. Alright, let's get this shit over with. We know it's coming. Other side? Okay. Alright. To make sure it was in game that the sirens were still going. Okay. Love these close quarters. Oh, okay. This is another way to the uh, to the basement, I think. Or to the uh, to the sewers, because we get a lot of keys there. I bet I know where it comes out. I bet it's right near those three uh, triangle locks. Okay. Oh yeah, this is blocked off before. Uh, this did not come where I thought it did. This is gonna be annoying. Oh wow, you're going much faster, my dude. Oh, God, you're also fast. You guys just get faster as the game goes on, don't you? Oh, my God. He's throwing me off. Okay. I wonder what this game's reviewing as. It's fine. It's pretty average. I like the uh, I like the concept, and I don't even think the implementation's that bad. I just think uh, their, their method of, like, having... Gordon be slow as shit is kind of annoying. How oh, did you wake up, friend? I was like, high chance this dude just like multiplies. You get taped. Guess what? Go back to being fucking unconscious or whatever. So there's another door here. 
I wonder if you put them in a different order, if you unlock that door. That would be my guess. Hmm. There's probably a secret that shows this somewhere. I don't know what it is. Are these in my inventory now? Yes. So they are definitely getting out of my inventory immediately. I don't care what order I put it in. My inventory is full enough. I don't have the pump thing with me. This feels like the time I want to have it with me. Um, let's leave the soundstage basement. Uh, okay. What's in here? Oh, I might find the dealer film roll here. <sighs> yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, film developer. Okay, I actually needed that. Good. Uh, I don't know if I need this last film. Because I think it's a... Uh, I think it's for a, a secret. Um... I don't know where storage is. I think it might be this way. Or it might be past him. I can't remember the last time I found storage. Nope. This was the, the bolt cutters. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> then where? Oh. Here's the boat? Oh. It's... It's crashed. I found the boat. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I'm just gonna move on. I think that's for the best. Like I know I need that pump thing. I just I can't get it because I can't find a storage thing now. I don't know where my items are kept anymore. Oh, the other half of the medallion too. Hmm. I literally can't fit it. That sucks. Is this even the right way? Oh, wow, that's huge. Okay. Um, all right. First of all, let's 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 mix it up here. Uh, you can go there. You can go, I believe, here. Yes. Good. Uh, you can get stashed because I'm not going to use you immediately. Um. I don't know what this medallion is for. I'll go grab it, though. I also haven't saved in a while, and I'm starting to get worried. Oh, wait a minute, no. It was this way, right? No room in the toolbox, what do you mean? What do you even mean? Oh my god, please. I keep hitting square to move it. Guess what button doesn't move it? That's square. Okay. These uh these puppets are a little bit unhinged. I'll say it. They got some stuff they gotta work out. Um. Yeah, let me be safe and just save. I don't know when I can mysteriously die, and I don't want to come back here. <laughs> I think this is the one that leads to what's his face. Yeah. Glad I taped that guy. Glad I taped both these guys. It was in fact worth it. They get randomly really violent. All right, so I have the film solution. Oh, okay. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might be where I need the pump thing. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For You're literally saying the same thing in stereo. I hate it. I hate you guys. God, how do you not have more lines? Ugh. I need like 20 more lines on every fucking puppet, especially if they're going to use the same lines. Because I'm losing it. I'm losing it. So I found all the films. I just I think the fourth film just gives you a hint on how to solve some of the stuff later, or some of the like secret secrets. 
But like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do those uh, in this playthrough because I don't care. Uh, I'll do. I probably will pick this up game up when it comes to to PS5, and I'll probably go for the platinum because I like it enough to platinum it. But I, uh, for the recording, I, I you know, I don't know. Okay. Inspect place. Oh, I did have it. Perfect. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. Good. Oh, so he's... He's like animal, is what oh, I'm realizing. I'm going now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I guess Ray is supposed to be like animal mixed with like maybe like Oscar the Grouch. And then Big Bur Oh, yeah, so I think there might be mixes. So that would make Pearl like a mixture of like Miss Piggy and Big Bird. I don't know what. Uh. What's his face? Or. Gobletta would be mixed up. Maybe like Cookie Monster and a random Muppet. It seems like they're mixing Sesame Street characters with Muppets, but I might be reaching here. Like, pretty far reaching. Uh, okay. I have some of the things I need, but not all of them. I need to go to the music studio. I need to... So this is all for that. So I need to go to the music studio. I need to go... Uh, oh, back in there. Oh. I, sh I wasted time by backtracking early when I'm, it's going to make me backtrack anyway. I should have just waited. So I think... Yeah, I got to go back to the elevator. I don't think there's another way to get out of here anymore. It would be cool if I could get to the sound stage. Because... Oh, that's probably under the music area. I also kind of feel like an, a missed opportunity would make the puppets just like slowly get more and more unhinged. Which I feel like they don't really do. Like, don't get me wrong, they get more dangerous. But I don't feel like their, like, their sayings are getting more crazy. I've heard the stomp his face thing a lot though, so maybe I'm wrong. Can I get around without fighting her? Yes. Okay. I think it went far enough. I'm here to educate the children. Wow, she got close. Okay. Whoops. I'm just trying to save ammo at this point. I don't really need to, but I like having like maybe like three clips. Better than like a no clip or a mini clip. <laughs> Two jokes, the price of one. Yep. Ah! Ah! Okay, so you're not going down. I can stun you, but I cannot take you down. Yikes. Big yikes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course they're everywhere now. See ya. Hey, there aren't more than one of you, right? There aren't like three of you because there are three dog houses? That'd be crazy, right? <laughs> and then this, this dude is going to start appearing, I guess. Oh, nope. Dogs and the statue. Great. Together? Suit sick. Really, really fun of you guys. It, you're just soaking up my ammo. <laughs> like, I can't even really, like, avoid them. 
All right, bye. Sorry, I gotta go. Oh, I think this is the uh, the main building, right? This isn't where I want to go. Oh, they d I did find that medallion. I wonder if I can talk to Ricky at any point. No, okay. Uh, and then I guess you can use coins to grab candy bars if you wanted to. If you had extras. So there's a fifth mask hidden somewhere. I did read that much, but yeah, the puzzle is the same. It's these guys again. Except I think they added uh, Leonard. Or Leonard. But that probably opens that door. Or maybe this one or that one. Uh, okay. Um, so this is not where I wanted to go, but I'm kind of just vibing since I, I went here. So I need to go to the music room. I need to go to the locked room in the second floor. Okay, and then I'm, I'm think I'm coming back here anyway. It is pretty cool that you don't have to like fight your way up to the tower. It's just like, no, just fix the elevator. So I'm imagining the elevator is the end of the game. Oh, wow. Well, he did let me go. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Can I get a fucking break here? Ridiculous. God, the game just got so much more dangerous. I don't feel good about doing that either, might I add. Like, I don't feel great about beating up fucking puppets, except these ones. Then I feel great. All right, no, 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 no. I don't need to hit that one, but I am tempted. I feel like I'm in the right area. Top floor, okay. Yes, it's this way, right? Oh my god! That's cheating! <laughs> Hey, guess you earned some fucking tape. No, I only have one left. You didn't earn tape. I can't tape the dogs down either, which kind of sucks. Uh, I did go the wrong way. Okay. Um, they set storage, which had something I couldn't do. Did set storage have a uh, have a green key? I don't remember. I knew I had to. I had to come back later, but I can't remember why. Oh, right, because it's puzzles. Oh. Okay. I mean, I can do this. Since, since I'm here. And I know the answers to these. Which is to say, I know how to find the answers to these. Where'd that, how do I get that guide to come back up? Game overview? There we go. Uh, let's see. So it's... Down square T. I don't know, okay. Uh, maybe I don't know how to solve this. <laughs> maybe I lied. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Very briefly, I was able to select just like the orb. So this is one of them. Do I like do it differently? And then so that's one, and then the down box, I guess. This one. I don't know if you have to do it in order. And then, uh, left arrow and, like, weird waterfall. Oh, I lied. Maybe right arrow. No, that, that is left. Weird waterfall. I give up. Uh, I do know the code to this. <laughs> because it's the first puzzle they list. Uh, 7, 12, 4. I guess you get the clue from this from the, uh... 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you get the clue from it from the uh, the movie I didn't I didn't watch. Oh, it doesn't even tell me which way. Seven. Uh. Twelve. Four. Okay. No. I feel like I got lied to. Uh. I don't care enough. Going back to my other thing. I did it because I was here, but I'm like, I don't. Whatever. Also, let me heal because I don't want to die in one hit. Alright, and that leads out. So I need to go way the fuck up. Like to the top. Fuck you. How about that? How about screw you? I don't. Is this the right way? It says it is. Fuck. I killed all those guys in here for nothing because I have to kill them again. You know. It's really this one that's the biggest threat. The other's like, who cares? Well, yeah, I am going back down. I don't know how to go further up. I did it already. I know I ran by that door. The machine room. Oh my god. That's terrifying. They had an enemy here. Uh. Oh, I am in the right spot, though. I just gotta go through. She's still there. I bet she turns around. He's in the. He's here now. What other fresh hells await me here? Okay. This one is just. Oh, what is this? The playground key? Forgetting the playground, I guess? Obviously, it's called the playground key. Alright, I suppose. Really thought I was going to find one of those formulas here. Where else is the... Is there a triangle key? Is this... No, there's still one. At least. Um, let's see. Oh, the music studio. In the, uh, the offices. Okay. The amount of times I've beat that guy's ass, I should just tape him up. I feel like I don't need to now, but if this is the beginning of the game, I absolutely should have taped him up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good. I'm glad I knocked him out right as he uh, got me. That's really cool. I mean, the dog is kind of cute in like a mangy sort of way. I don't, I don't like having to, to hit it, but <laughs> unfortunately, I have to play the game. So Gobletta shouldn't be an issue anymore. Ray shouldn't be an issue anymore. Pearl shouldn't be an issue anymore. Pearl was never an issue. Um, who else is still going to be here? Who's going to ruin my fucking night? Because I did not tie anyone up here. I am starting to run out of ammo too. It's starting to hit me. They're, they're starting to catch up. I gotta use the melee more often. I'm using the pistol nonstop. I did save the grenades because there was a boss fight that it decimated them, so. Dizzy. I just saw that. Uh, alright. I'll be careful. More ammo, nice. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, right? I haven't been going to new areas. I've been going back to old ones. ABC Market Research? Are you allowed to say ABC? <laughs> the literal owners of the Muppets, Disney? Uh, 
In recent years, television viewership has surged, and television programming is, uh, I thought it said mutilated, multiplied and diversified as broadcasters scramble to capitalize uh, on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages and their children beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood imitate their parents' viewing habits. Same period, however, my friendly neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While service isn't just the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, bringing instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. I. That's triggering to me. <laughs> yes, the Muppets are not as popular as they, they once were, but the fans are diehard. Not that, like, I would know or anything. I, like, this is just, like, a guess. I, I, like, I can't really say. Why is there a mallet in here? <laughs> just realized. What? Why? All right. Clean the solution, and then I, I think the garden should have the last item. I hope, and then we can just uh, follow that weird puzzle. It's it's lacking the resonance. It's not like it doesn't last long enough. It's got to be like a and then slowly fade out. Hmm, more ammo. Okay, I'll take that. There has to be something in here. Like it, it, it literally needs to be in here. There we go. Trumpet polish. Vir oh, virtuoso trumpet polish. I guess that makes sense. I thought they meant like the cleaning product. Uh, all right, we're done. Let's uh, let's take the shit back. I've got two out of three. Where's the trumpet polish? Oh, it's in the top corner. Okay. Is that it for the uh, green key? By the way, am I gonna fight the weird boss here again? Because the game is like. No, no, there's still another green key or green area somewhere. Where? Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I guess I can check all the floors, right? So it's not in stage four. It's not in the sewers. Although I can't really say what. Oh, I guess the lower waterway is where I came to from his uh. His den, I think. Uh, not in. Oh, there's one in the offices to so the conference room, so that's probably a secret. I mean, I am here, right? I'm gonna visit it. This would be a good time. Uh, that leads to the audience, sir. The live audience stage. I don't want to go there. I want to go up a floor and then mezzanine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fuck it, right? Why not? Since I'm here, if I think if, I think if I was in any other area, I would have ignored that. But there might be something I need in there anyway, because typically the key is not useless until uh until it's fixed. Oh, also, isn't, is this actually go somewhere? Yes. I think of the areas so far. I think I like the office the most. I think the uh, the level design was really good. The first area was kind of confusing. Uh, because I just wasn't really sure where to go or what I was doing, even though it was pretty obvious in hindsight. This one I liked, and I... The sewers were okay. I just It's weird that Ray doesn't do anything the first time you're there. Like, they, like, really held him back. I wonder if on, like, harder difficulties if he's more of an asshole. I bet that's what a lot of this is. Like, the harder the difficulty, the more, uh... The more chance for them to be, like, a prick. Okay. What you saw there was me put my controller down and just grab the mouse. Uh, if I'm going to do that other secret, I could grab the masks now. This would be the time. Uh, I just don't want to. Good. Oh, interesting. All right. Oh, there we go. Another cheat tape. I guess that was worth it. I assume the cheats are you can use in subsequent playthroughs. Oh, and more coins. Okay. You know what? 
Not too shabby. Not such a bad place. Yeah, so it was just two coins and uh two coins and the uh cheat tape. I think I've got four out of five for the cheat tapes. Actually pretty easy to get, you just to go explore every room. Or like use a key in a previous area. I think that's the only thing that's happened. Hey. Screw that space up. Oh my god. <laughs> I realized it and I was like, maybe I can just make a beeline for it. And I can, but at what cost? Cost of one health. Okay, so. Um. Yeah. I guess we just leave. I definitely think uh, using most of my tape on the people in the in the office is the way to go because you have to go. You have to backtrack in this area or run in circles so many times that it's just much better. So I wonder if you just have to have three movies to get Goblet to do that, or if you have to find the specific one because she walked in during the first production too. Um, so I don't know. Ah, oh, man. This game did get a little tougher when you just go, like... I guess maybe because I, like, cleaned the areas so well the first time that, like, there wasn't anything lying around for me. Alright, I forgot where I was. Of course, this is blocking the way, by, by the way, so I have to walk through this fucking dog. He reminds me of, uh... There's that one Muppet in Muppet Treasure Island who's like a dog with like one blind eye. He looks like that Muppet. Uh, he's one of the ones that like attacks Gonzo and Rizzo in the beginning. I've n I think he's been in other Muppet productions, but that's like the only one I remember him from because he like was so distinctive. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks for just fucking sapping my ammo. Really cool of you. Oh my god, it's not a real fucking thing. That that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Hopefully he's lost interest and isn't just chasing me. Okay, I got pa Oh my god, I have to do a puzzle here? Tell me you didn't follow me. That would be so mean. Oh, it's where they are on the... <laughs> That's a good puzzle. Uh, that that is a uh, a good puzzle. It's where they are on the uh, on the map here. Okay, I know. I know that he's here. The bird is on the side. I kind of don't remember where everyone else is. And naturally, I can't see him here. Okay, so Rick is outside. I can see that he. Oh wow, the dog got stuck. That was actually pretty lucky. So Rick is in this area, but he's right here. I don't, I don't remember where everyone else is. I think Ray might be here, actually. No, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let's see. So Rick is there. Oh, you can drop down. Nice. Um... All right, he's there. I don't know where the dog is right now. Oh, he's over there. He's freaking out. He's freaking the fuck out. All right, so yeah, so uh, Pearl is like right. Oh, I made a mistake. I don't know if he can get up here. Oh, I guess that's for the best. Uh, so Pearl is like on the side of this. I think Ray might be in the bottom. Okay, she's right there. Yeah, I think Ray is in the bottom. So that would mean... Hold on. So this would be... He'd be here. Uh, she'd be here. He'd be here. And that would mean that Gob would have to be here. Hell yeah, dude. Puzzle solver. Oh my god, don't grab it. Weed killer. Hey, stay dead. See ya. Bye. Okay. He's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Just freaking out. Uh, okay. So, I found everyone? I hate that I can't just walk out of this. I know, I know. Safety and whatnot for the kids, but, like, why would they start now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you can walk up here. Terrifying. I'm kind of glad you glitched out because I feel like that would be a really annoying part otherwise. Alright, there's one in here too. Hopefully I can get something to like quell the dog. I probably can just beat it. I'm using a lot of ammo shooting those guys. I bet I can just club them over the fucking head. I bet that me, Gordon, can just fucking clock the dogs right in the fucking kisser. And that'll be enough to hit them, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It's funny, I looked at this earlier and I was like, oh, a crocodile. I wonder if they'll have like a crocodile puppet later. No. No, believe it or not, they make it pretty obvious. So are there only three? One in the main area, one in the, the maze, and then one... Or no, one in the garden and one in the uh, entryway? I guess there are only three. Uh, okay. Let's open this back up, because I do not fucking remember. Um... Red for one, uh, red for one second, green for one second, blue for three seconds, green for two again. Okay, red, green, blue, green. Uh, hold on. So, red, green, blue, one, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, one, Mississippi, two, Mississippi. It's not on, right? I realize that now. <laughs> are you are you for real right now? Like Oh, I see. It's probably this. So what if I like, Okay, it looks ready to go. One sippy. Two sippy. I don't think it's doing anything. <laughs> okay. That didn't sound good. You should check the directions. Oh, I know the directions. We got this. Don't worry about it, Gordon. One Mississippi. Wait, hold on. Not long enough. Fuck. I think I got it. And, and these, I guess. These pegs. Sick. And then I don't need this key anymore either. Okay. I'm actually kind of low on items now. Hey pups, can you like fuck right off? Would that be would that be something possible for you guys to do? If Gordon was like a little bit faster. Would solve a lot of my problems. Okay, so you can do it. But boy, is that timing tight. You have to be like backing away as you do it. Try not to take too many hits, too. Alright, man. Oh, it just took two that time. Okay. Getting better at it. I am going to save, though. Save and heal. Uh, anything I need on this? Some unsolved puzzles? <laughs> no, I'm good. I am really low on ammo, though. And I can't craft ammo, so that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, alright. Uh, just save and hope for the best. Okay. I think I can go back. Oh, it might actually be better to go this way. So then I don't have to run into the dog if I do this. I wonder if there's a friendship like thing for the dog. Like I wonder if uh 
I can hear him panting away. I wonder if you can like give him an item in it and they'll uh, they'll come together. I kind of think you probably not. Hey, sorry, pup. All right. Finally, let's get this done. Dude. Fucking tell me about it. Just trying to take the fucking antenna down. And to deal with all these fucking puppets. I'm just Gordon. I just want. I lost the voice for a second. I'm just Gordon. I'm just here to fix the fucking antenna, dude. I gotta deal with all these fucking puppets. I gotta hit him with my fucking wrench I found. I'm, I'm keeping this wrench, by the way. It's a good wrench. Hey, this looks like a boss arena. Call me crazy. Board? What the fuck happened here? Yeah, I was like, I definitely hear music. Okay, so someone put this down custom. Deeply upsetting. No ammo, huh? Just health? Okay, cool. I didn't grab my spare health either. Oh boy, it is an area, huh? Turns out this is another another area. It's not It's not a straight shot to the uh to the roof like I thought it was. Oh boy. I cannot see what is playing this music in the darkness. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking at. You can jump down. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Me. Real looker here. <laughs> Mommy must be proud. Fucking Gordon, dude. Real fucking looker here. Mommy must be proud. Alright. You need me puzzle solutions here? Okay, so he's the red guy. I bet these are puzzle solutions, and I just don't have the patience to. Mentally keep track of them. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, is it? It's made of cardboard. What a what a killer final level. Just off key, horrible music playing in the background the whole time. Oh my god. What is this? What? Games. Switch game. Uh Turn it on, okay. <laughs> okay. Jump game, go. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Car game. Wow. Real real crazy here. Picks Arlo and Girl or not Arlo. That's that's a different thing. Who the fuck is Arlo? Uh, and then, uh, yep, that's Rick. The tower, MFN, okay. Uh, that's Gobletta, okay. Docks 1. Where are my socks? Dock 2. Fish, 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 fish. Dock 3. To do, find my cat. Hi, how are you? I'm doing alright. Kind of trying to beat this game. Secure, log in. Cam A? What the fuck? It sounded like that came from the other room. Oh. Okay. So I could open up the the wall, I guess. Why does the cat have three eyes? Do you have a race car bed? That's pretty sick. Isn't there a final level in like Silent Hill that's kind of like this, like one of the Silent Hills that you uh 
your like map in the area is like a, a children's drawing. I think it was like Silent Hill two or three. I've only watched a playthrough of that game. I have no intention of playing it because it's just not my kind of game. I mean, it is, but also I just don't want to. Uh huh. So it's not this room. Because I think these would have moved up. What a weird puzzle. Just bashing away on the keys. Alright. A kitchen. Wait, hold on. Change. Oh, you're supposed to put stuff there. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh god. I don't want to do any of that. Okay. Maybe you don't have to put it there. Maybe, maybe this is fine. I guess it could be placed here. I gotta find a bunch of food? Oh my lord. What is this? Oh, it all leads to a key. Okay, apple, milk, cans. Yep. Uh, apple needs to be cut into... Oh, it's just not an apple, it's a tomato. It needs to be cut into ketchup. <sighs> oh my god. This is a colossal waste of time. Okay. Uh, apple gets cut into ketchup. Ketchup uh, goes in the, the the red box to become uh, special. I don't I don't know where the red uh, this. Oh, I can see it. I can see that it changed. Okay, there we go. It's a microwave. Got it. Um. Milk in the red box become cheese. Cheese gets sliced up to become banana. That's not true. Uh, okay. And then, what's the last one? Stew? Oh my god. Because you know, oh, I see what it is. This actually isn't that bad of a puzzle. I was being a little, uh... I'm a little tired. I play this game kind of straight, right? And I've recorded it instead of, uh... Uh, instead of doing anything else with it, so I'm, I was like a little bit annoyed, but I'm like, this is this is clever. I like this. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta let the stew boil, but you can't watch uh, for more. You have to look away for more than twenty seconds, because uh, a watched pot never boils. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god, I heard so many bones crack when I did that. I need to eat dinner too. I uh I have buffalo chicken calzone, but it's not that good. It's okay. Like it's still a buffalo chicken calzone, which is good, but it's not like the best I've had. I could cook as well, but I'm like, that's equally repulsive. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. And now it's stew, okay. And then put it all in the fridge for five seconds to get a key. Hold on. Do I have to put it in like a specific spot? Maybe it doesn't matter. You know, there's just medicine there. I don't know how any of that worked, but okay. So we have a purple key now. Are there keys in every room? Tempted to uh to taper up. Open my art by Arnold. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Inspect. Take. Put that there instead. Oh, I see. The door locks when you take the key. Okay. Um. I feel like this is just it. I don't feel like I have to do anything else here. Right? I don't have a map. How the fuck would I know? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems like everything. Probably. So 
So I have an actual key now. Isn't there a chest in one of these? Okay, so the, that door, or that... Something opened somewhere. But not here. Let's see if this works now. It does. Oh, there's a puzzle piece. Oh, that's right, I'm collecting puzzle pieces. Right. <laughs> there's an end game here. You have to be able to inspect that for <clears throat> for a good reason, right? Okay, so <clears throat> something to do with this computer. It said something. They heard something click. So it's the it's the scribble drawing. So I gotta look for the scribble art. This is the only room with art that you could feasibly grab off a wall, I think. No, no, no scribble. Oh, that's them making noises. Um, no scribble art in here, either. I'm gonna have to tape up that, uh... That other lady. I guess there are other doors here. Or at least one other door. Okay. This, this raises equal equally as many questions. Okay, so we got another puzzle piece. Into Arnold's imagination, penthouse evening. When Ricky enters Arnold's penthouse, there's another chaos. Furniture is lying upside down. Cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall. Art is lying on the floor. Arnold is in the corner, digging around inside his chest. Arnold, what's going on? Are you looking for something? Cat. Lost your cat? Have you looked everywhere for her? Yes. Have you looked in the kitchen, the bedroom, the patio? He walks over the piano and holds out a sheet of music to Ricky. I wrote a song. Let's see, I take it, you want me to sing this? As a reply, Arnold begins to play the piano. Ricky sings a song. Lament for cat. My cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, 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 cat. You are not in your bed. All right. Sure. Why not, dude? Inspect. Uh. Grab. Okay. Soda. Some pop with a cardboard can. Okay. Out of pop. It's out of pop, it's out of pop, it's out of pop, it's out of pop, okay. Um get a coin. Lock from the other side. Fuck. I really don't know where to go then. <laughs> I don't know where the art is. It must be that last room. I'm definitely gonna have to wrap that uh that bitch up. Um not done with the key. Okay. I don't think I saw any key or purple pentagon keys anywhere else in the game. I'm not going to save yet. Despite us doing a lot of work and probably needing to save. There are four total, right? Yes. Okay. So Arlo, I guess, is supposed to be Elmo. Mixed with fucking someone. I don't know who. Uh, oh boy. That's a, that's a silhouette. I don't, yeah, I have no idea. Let's see. My art by Arnold. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do I have to like examine them in an order or something? I don't even know what to interact with here. Fake key. I don't know what you want from me. I don't I have a solution. There's no map in this area. Um huh. This thing in the wall, maybe? This something. There's something to do with the, uh, with this with this book. I know that. Weird shapes, uh, double dog or weird shapes cat, uh, 
modern abstract fruit. Okay. I wonder if you have to like interact with them in a certain order. Maybe the computer. So I haven't seen any of these on the wall. It said something opened. Um Okay. I have no idea. I'm really lost right now. Um, I don't even know what room that's in. It's like a purple section. So the purple room would, would make sense, but it's not what we're dealing with here. I'm just like, I'm not scared. I'm just like annoyed at this point. It just feels like filler. You gotta do something eventually, I just don't know what. Um, so this is abstract, this is her. Don't know what I can interact with anymore. I'm losing it. I don't know where to go. I feel like I'm missing something obvious again. Fucking losing my goddamn mind. I hate Arlo. He's, or not Arlo, again. What is this dude's name? Arnold, that's right. Fuck this dude, he sucks. I have no idea. Oh, uh, this room also exists. That's right. Okay. That helps. I wonder if that's where the last two puzzles will be. Sorry, I'd be a little annoyed. I'll be honest. <laughs> I completely forgot about that entry. Uh, that entry room. Totally forgot it was a thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Boy, I wasn't ready for that. You have a, a million health? You need a breath oh. oh my god. I'm glad there's healing a room over. Because I'm gonna fucking need it. Oh my god. A little more extra sections here. Unlock the book. Oh, uh, hidden doorway. I didn't want to leave because they're going to respawn. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. That was the end of the purple key. I didn't save. I really wish I had now. It's not too late, Nick. You can go back and save. Just beat these guys and tie them up. He has a pool? What the hell? There's so many of these guys here. That did not work. What a fucking waste. What an absolute waste. Oh, that shouldn't be possible. Nor should this sound. I thought the grenade would have better range than that for what it is. I was wrong. Hey, your boy could use some everything, map, ammo. Uh, is this Arnold? There's a token on his on his head. It's too big. Oh, yeah, there's a sound system over there. <sighs> it's gonna suck to get out of. Oh, cool. Here we go. Okay. What do I remember? Let's see. I had a good mnemonic. Okay. Hold on. We got this one. Okay. And the cat. 
and then modern and then abstract. This one's modern. And then abstract, I think is this one. And then the fruit. Puzzle God, let's go! Oh, ammo and a puzzle piece, thank you. That's actually really nice. Oh, you can just reload infinitely, that's funny. It's gonna take me an alternate way back in here. Nope, this is a new area. Okay, sure. Uh, Puppet and Winter Song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office shedding, signaling that the film will fall short of recovering its 25 million budget. 25 million is not the, oh, an 83, that's a lot actually. Oh, thank you. Please, more ammo. All of it, please. I've done a lot. I've gone through a lot to get here. This actually is kind of calming. I know it's horrific to look at, but... The ambiance is nice. So, my... It's my favorites. I think there's a reason to come back in here, but I have no map, so there's no fucking way I could know. Oh, this just brings you back here. Okay. There's still another side I have to explore, uh, but I can heal at least. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I might actually save. Call me crazy. Might be time. Uh, yeah. I think I'm good otherwise. I might grab the health. That might be good. Yeah. I'll grab the health for now. And then... Now we'll save. Okay. Alright. Bring out the, uh... The fucking wrench, because I have to here. I don't want to. Alright, that actually was super helpful. I feel like this guy always has more health than anyone else. Puzzle piece just in a fucking drawer. Okay. Shells, nice. Take that. I never found the map. I feel like it probably was in the wall and I just missed it. I'm sure it exists, and I'm sure they did just like hand draw it. Good God! If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Uh, no. I can't read music. Get off me! Okay. 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 Yamahi. Not bad. Great. Sounds good, buddy. I'm gonna go now, okay? See, so don't have legs. God, that shit. That's. <laughs> it's, it's clipping through the floor. I was gonna say, it's putting in a lot of work. That's cute, he just wanted to do it. Hopefully he's not a boss fight. Because he seemed pretty childish and kind of, I don't know, if it would feel weird to fight them after the section I just did. God, I have no ammo though. Oh, thanks, he's still here for me, that's good. Oh no, okay, he's not. He left. Right, back to the normal game. I completely fucking forgot, <laughs> like, that I was, like, doing a real game. 
Uh, Mr. Gerswald, we are writing to inform you that effective immediately the show My Friendly Neighbor has been cancelled and the production company MFN Studios has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performance or puppets performers, and the studio lot remain the property of City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, uh, July 22nd. It's July 20th today. To vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Black Soul, Vice President of Programming, City Network Broadcasting. I see now. Eternal error. Could not terminate broadcast. Yes, I'll go out and do it myself. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. It is a uh, really dark in this city. Not a single light on. Really, not a single one. Huh? <laughs> Every single place in the city has no lights. They're all asleep. Not the, that's not the fucking New York I know. The New York I know, they'll uh, it's the city never sleeps. They'll uh, they keep the lights on forever. Uh, could be uh, middle of the night. We'll have the lights on as bright as you can see. I'm sure this will go well, especially since it's lightning and thundering out now. <laughs> Skyrim, meet your heart out. You guys didn't know. The uh, the Elder Scroll engine, who knows if it's still like this. The uh, So for all of the Fallout games and all of the uh, Oblivion, or, uh, Elder Scrolls games, you can't climb up ladders. That's why every ladder is a, is a screen transition in that game. Or like they they always make you like walk around in like a circle to go up instead. Because uh, <laughs> they, they just don't have ladder technology for whatever reason. I don't know why, but... That's like uh, one of the big failings of the uh, the engine, on top of all the bugs and stuff. The other joke I could have gone with here would be, uh, what a thrill. Oh boy, this is going to go well. I feel like this is dangerous. Got my trusty screwdriver here. No sense of urgency. Gordon, you don't have to do this. I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon! We want to help them. They need us. You need us. For what? Do I? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness or the light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Mickey? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's it. Are you sure about that, Gordon? Network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know deep down you want to be friendly. Sorry. Uh oh. I wonder where this where this led. Yeah, no fucking way. You just felt like six plus stories. There's no way. Okay. Where are we? In the basement, dickhead. Where do you think we are? 
that really where that led to? Wouldn't this place be like super grimy because it's, it's open air? Yeah, that telephone is definitely gonna ring by the way. Oh, no thanks. I'm good. Oh man, okay. Hey, I was getting ready. In my head I was writing my uh, my review for this game. Uh, I'm just being like, I'm like not review, but just being like, tools two. Tools one. What? Oh, I guess you can only fit so much, so much there. That's interesting. Fuck it, save. Uh, but I was thinking, to my, I was gonna say like, this is an interesting concept, but I feel like even bug snacks went like darker than this. Uh, like for what they're trying to do, I feel, especially since they're trying to do like the horror genre, I feel like they needed to, uh, they really needed to uh, have a little more bite. And uh, it turns out zombie puppets exist, so who knows. Driven by a restless spirit, I go up on the roof, and there, above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me. Like I'm starting into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear someone speak to me. Something say, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of this pit, and bring me home. Don't like that. Oh, crazy. Emergency. Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. I don't think Ricky oh, cares wow. if I died. Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hope you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. Of course it is. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> well, I wrote this game. Out of here, I'm gonna make you do a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. So his, so he's basically saying like, the. Uh, Oh god, now I get a flashlight. He's saying that the 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 reason they all became so fucked up like this was because of a uh, um because they watched TV. <laughs> like I mean, okay. It makes some sense. Hope this section isn't super long, but I know better. Oh boy, the texture is there. Oh my god, the pitch black is is rough. The unfriendly neighborhood. Oh boy, we're about to ed enter the edge, the edge zone. Okay, coin laundry. Oh yeah, so it's the same set, but it's gonna be a lot darker, isn't it? Cool, cool. Unfriendly neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> Nope. Nope. I'm good. No thanks. Don't need to look backwards. We're good. Oh my god. Okay. I guess I have to fight it. Jesus. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Okay. isn't that long it turns out <laughs> it's kind of a weird 
Uh, it's so dark, I'll probably trip over a stage. It's kind of a weird that just thing that just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I skip this? Yes, okay. That's good. I mean, I'm low on everything, so. I. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Hold on. I do have something for this, actually. Oh, I guess I just. The soda just ha Oh, can you use the soda? That's funny. Uh, I'm just gonna eat the candy bar then. I'm gonna take that speed boost. It seems like this area could really fucking use it. Uh huh. Friendly neighborhood. Yeah, we don't need to see him. It's fine. Maybe a little bit. Oh yeah. Boy, I don't like that. Wow, he totally just spawned. What did that lever do? Oops. Oh, it's a time-based thing. Fuck me, dude. Alright. I wonder if there's ammo here. Look how the music changes when I fall down. Fuck. Uh. I don't have enough fucking... I don't have enough items for this. Alright. Is there ammo here? Music is so loud. I like the jazz inflection. Yeah, I don't think there's any ammo here. I think we're good. Dear children, I am sorry to announce this will be our final episode. I want to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is broken and we're broken too. Great thing to, to tell the under six demographic. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. There is nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no, food, no fame. One needs for a light beyond our world. The light that is also love to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. The light beyond our world? In our show, we tried to give you a glimpse of that light, so the message I leave to you with is uh, with you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary, sometimes it may hurt, sometimes it's hard to know what's uh, right and wrong. Because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing, and when that happens, it can hurt a lot. Have faith in the light, faith in the light because the, the light will rescue you from the darkness. What the fuck? <laughs> no? Just say be a good person, you fucking weirdo. Like, <laughs> Jesus. What a stupid message. <laughs> like, shut up. Alright, where am I? Oh, we're in the second floor of the lobby. I see, I see. Oh, wait, that was the one that, uh, or no. This is the one with the silent. I have nothing left. <laughs> I, I, very rarely do I beat a survival horror game and I've got no fucking ammo. I bet if I hadn't wasted some of those, uh, some of those grenades, I could have, uh, I could have done better. Oh, these were just here? Find Ricky's snackaroos. <laughs> oh, thanks, I guess. A little late, but, you know. I 
There was a Steam Achievement, that's why I said that, by the way. I had to just, like, say to myself, find Ricky Snackaroos. My battery's still dead in my, uh, my car. Is there still dogs out here? Still a thing? Is it, is it daylight? <sighs> that felt pretty into the game. Mercy, escape the unfriendly neighborhood without defeating at the final boss. Yeah, I did that. Uh, not on purpose. I had no more weapons. Oh, I guess I never went in the aviary. That's probably the best. <laughs> Fuck's sake, dude. So <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ricky. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handy man extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about good. our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock <laughs> that was kid? It's a good joke. Ricky, I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? Wow. Wow. Fucking Mr. Rogers over here. Um, I, I feel like most people are going to pick no, right? Because it's clearly the superior answer. Fuck it, right? For content? Fine. <laughs> Why not, dude? Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. <laughs> oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow <laughs> night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. 23 skidoo. Oh, Brian. What have you done this time? Hey, I'm just a fucking maintenance man, but now I run a goddamn studio. One more season. Gordon helped the, the show come back. I on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show. Some Yo, what happened to fucking it? Pearl's Glasses? That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Okay, okay. At that point, I figured I had done my part. So I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. Uh-oh. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window. Wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. A little bittersweet ending there for you. <laughs> that was such a hard left from what I just saw. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, Arlo is the voice of Ricky. Isn't that a uh, YouTuber? Alright, well. There. We get the gist. 4 hours, 37. Deaths, 4. Saves, 25. I mean, if I reloaded my saves, you wouldn't have known how many deaths I had. Uh, said I got the achievement for finishing on a B-rank or higher. So that's cool. Finished on standard. New menu. Cheats, modes, speedrun mode, free cam mode, veteran difficulty, long arms, speedy enemies. Why would I want speedy enemies? What do you mean? Jointless ragdolls? <laughs> that could be funny. Chipmunk voices? No. Mega wrench? Mega wrench sounds pretty good. 
Let's see. Unlocks. Modes. Okay, there are two more modes to unlock. Cheats. There are. So many more cheats. <laughs> I thought there was five, dude. There's so many more. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what? Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's toggle all those on. God, these are, these are more like skulls in Halo. All right, well, that's it for uh, my friendly neighborhood. It was, uh, it was interesting. I'm not going to pretend and be like that was an amazing game or anything. I also think it was a bad game. Um, will I play it again for trophies on PlayStation? Probably. Depends on the price. I bought this for 30 bucks. I think I got 30 bucks out of it. Uh, mostly for the channel. If I played this on my own for 30 bucks, But I'm also just playing it once. It's clearly designed to be played multiple times. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like three out of five. Three out of five yams. Three out of five uh, points, whatever you want to call it. It's an average game. I don't think it's bad. I don't regret my time with it. I think it was fun to check out. Definitely some cool references I got there. Um... And uh, it wasn't all bad. It was definitely me being tripped on some of it. And God, I'm, I can't wait for the comments, dude. I can't wait. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna dress you real quick. So I clearly recorded all four of this in a row, as you can tell by the same outfit uh, and the increasingly darker camera. Uh, if you left a comment saying like Nick, it's right there, or Nick, it was right here, or something like that, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Like. If you phrase it in a way like, Nick missed this, but if you do this in your playthrough, like if you're trying to help other people out, sure, I get that. But if you're like, streamer, streamer, ah, uh, uh, YouTuber, you you missed this part and this one. Like, so? The world kept turning. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good time. Glad I uh, did it for the channel. I think if it goes on PlayStation Plus, uh, like in the collection or like whatever, then I'll probably download it again and play it again. Or if it's on sale, I grab it for like less than fifteen. I'll give it another shot um, for the uh, for the trophies this time because now that I know the game, it's probably more fun. Or maybe I might even enjoy it more on the second time. But like, it was all right. I don't know that you need to play it. I think if you watch it, you get the gist of it. It wasn't like the gameplay wasn't like super demanding or anything. It was just puzzles. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Th uh, four hour and a half videos, crazy. Couldn't be me. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Because I'm going to try and release these weekly. So we'll see if people are still interested by the fourth week when this one comes out. So that'll that'll determine how well the game did. So, But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in the next series. Bye, YouTube. See you guys later. And like, if you're new and you just, like, just found this series for whatever reason, drop a like. Give a subscribe. Comment on what you thought of the game. Just in general. I'm curious. So thank you guys and uh, goodbye.